Okay, here's a demo of the main structure for motion activity to do for the homework. So I'm just going to add a folder of some images that I put on the desktop. And these, there's 10 pictures, so it's going to go nice and fast. These pictures are from um, the Landers earthquake rupture uh, from 20 years ago that is in the Mojave Desert. So first thing then is align the photos. Now since we have just a few, we can probably do high. And this will produce the sparse cloud of the initial correlations. Okay, so now you can see we have the sparse cloud. And also the photograph locations are shown by the blue um, squares. So now let's do build a dense cloud. Ultra high is going to be too too much. Okay, so now the uh, dense cloud is done, so we can uh, view it here. Now it's so dense it looks like a continuous surface, but actually we zoom in more and I'll turn off the trackball. It's kind of annoying. We can see somewhere in here we start to see the points. Okay, so now let's do the mesh. And we'll do kind of a medium face count. Height field is good for images like this where it's um, more two and a half dimensional. If you do a uh, sculpture or a 3D object like a raw rock, you'd want to do arbitrary. Okay, so the mesh is done. Let's um, turn off the cameras so they're not in the way. And then let's show the uh, solid mesh. Here you can see the kind of triangular facets that are produced as part of that mesh. Okay, so the final thing is to build the texture. Adaptive orthophoto is good. Uh, 30,000, this is a pretty big texture map. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller uh, just for speed. But you can change that number to increase the resolution, just have to be careful because of the memory requirements. Okay, so then the last thing we can do is view the textured mesh. So now instead of being the point cloud, it's actually the textured image on that mesh. It's kind of wrapped onto it. Because this is the demo version, you can't export any of the files, but simply recording the interaction with the model is sufficient for the assignment and may be useful for you for various projects where you can just make a movie or do a screen capture.